Hi, this is a follow-up to my video where a big magnet meets the laptop and destroys the hard disk. In this video I'm going to take the hard disk apart and see if there are any visible damages. But first I will try to power it up using this power supply and SATA to USB converter. Just to see if the hard disk has somehow fixed itself since my last video. Not very likely, but let's give it a try. Shortly after powering the drive up I heard the clicking noises. The dry would still not boot and I couldn't get Windows to find it. So it's still dead. Time to open it and see what's going on inside the drive. For this I need a Torx screwdriver, a T6 to be more precise. This is from a set of screwdrivers for electronics which translates to a nifty Danish word. Elektronik skruetrækker set. Repeat after me. Elektronik skruetrækker set. Alright, enough Danish lesson for today. Time to crack it open. Will it be in pieces? Are the heads stuck on the platters? Are the platters scratched? Let's see. Uh, no, it looks perfectly fine. It's a two platter four head setup, quite impressive in such a small format. Here's a usual desktop hard disk for size comparison. They are more or less built with the same layout. Next up I will power up the drive with the lid off. They should be fun and maybe help us diagnose the drive. Oops, there goes the recirculation filter, blown away from the wind the platters make. This is a 7200 RPM hard drive, so the platters are spinning at 120 rounds per second. Hmm, I don't know about you, but this is not telling me anything about what's wrong with the drive. Let's take it more apart. Maybe there are scratches on the hidden sides of the platters. I saw no circular scratches indicating a full-on head crash, only some greasy spots after my abuse in the disassembly. Did the magnet erase info on the platters? Were the heads affected enough by the magnet to render them useless? Did something else happen? Let me know in the comments what you think, I can't conclude anything with certainty. In a future video I may have to try the magnet on a computer and hard disk while it is not powered up and see if it will boot up afterwards. All I know for now is that this hard disk will never work again, so why not have a little fun with it? Here it is running without platters. Looks like the heads are at least detecting that nothing is there. I tried putting it back together even though I obviously had misaligned everything. Even worse, I ran it without the head guide. The desktop hard disk is in a better shape but not really working. Notice though how this one parks the read write heads directly on the platters near the spindle. That's all for now. Remember to click like if you did like. Thanks for watching.